Morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. So follow us, each and every single one of you guys. Just wanted to come on here real quick. It's not going to be a super long video, I promise. I'm just going to make this short and sweet. And I've been seeing this a lot on my Facebook timeline, especially today. I saw a little bit of it last night, but I saw it definitely today. How folks are just going all in mocking the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, everything they can mocking his birth, mocking his very existence, talking so recklessly about our Lord and Savior. And a lot of folks, I'll say it like this, maybe y'all can point this out for me. I don't remember too many people mocking and scoffing at Allah or mocking and scoffing at Selassie or mocking and scoffing Buddha or any of these um, deified things, which we all know are demons anyway. But there's something about Jesus where the mere mention of our Lord and Savior's name sends people into a panic and a frenzy. There was a guy who I saw recently who spoke some of the most vulgar, just nasty, vile things he could say about the Lord. I'm not going to repeat it here, but it was very clear that man had a demon in him. And he was just being so reckless with his speech while he was saying, Hail Satan. You have those who identify more with their skin tone, more than they identify with the Lord and say, no, nah, I don't want to roll with this Jesus guy. That's a religion that was brought up by white people and I'm woke. And anyway, you have Jews that deny him. You have, of course, the Muslims that deny and say that he's not the son of God. He's some prophet, but he wasn't the son of God. He wasn't God. You have the cessationists, at least some, not all, who are denying the power of the Lord. Well, well all cessationists deny the power of the Lord because they say that the gifts of the Holy Ghost don't exist. That's a whole other conversation. But still, just by denying the power of the Lord, you're denying that the existence of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just going to say it right out there, blunt. How do you say that you believe God, but you don't believe in his power? Just like there's folks who don't even believe in the Bible. So how do you believe in the word, but you don't believe the word? But... The message here is for all my brothers and sisters in the Lord, it's going to happen. That these people are going to be mocking and scoffing the Lord's name. They're going to be talking smack about you. But it's not that they hate you directly. They hate the Lord as it's written in the word of God. The servant is not greater than his master. So you're going to have those who are going to talk horribly disrespectful about Jesus. That Folks that's going to say, man, that man been talking about coming back for 2,000 plus years. He ain't coming back. I'm going to go ahead and smoke this, drink this, do whatever I want to do. Y'all, preach the gospel anyway. Give the word of God anyway to all four corners of the earth. And if there be mockers and scoffers, give them what the Lord tells you to give them. And if he says walk away, that is authorizing the Lord's word. If they will not listen, dust your feet and move on to the next city. Better it is in Sodom and Gomorrah than it is for those who heard the word and denied it. Do not allow yourself to get caught up in the mockery and the scoffing. If you hear it, you hear it, but don't get into your emotions. Don't get overwhelmed with it, but just pray for them. I feel pity for those who mock and scoff the Lord's word because... When you're mocking and scoffing the Lord and you're mocking and scoffing his word, you are putting yourself right in the crosshairs of the wrath of God. And you're putting yourself right where when all of this happens, everything that happens according to the Lord's word, all the prophecies are being fulfilled and Jesus comes back. Those who deny the Lord would wish they had one more shot. There are people in hell right now that's been down there thousands of years that if the Lord ever if he would ever allow them the chance to repent, I guarantee you they would. I mean, if you think of the story of Lazarus and the rich young ruler, Lazarus died, the rich ruler died. Lazarus was in Abraham's bosom. The rich ruler was in hell and he was begging for a drop of water. Then he was begging to be allowed to go back and warn his peoples about hell. And he was told, look, they got, Abraham, they got Moses, they got oh, Abraham, excuse me, sorry. They have Moses and the prophets. They got Moses and the prophets. And if they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, they ain't gonna listen to you either. Give the Lord's word, even in the face of mockery and scoffing, because they will mock, they will scoff, but that mock and that scoff will become 
crying and weeping and pleading and begging. And they'll be wishing they had one more chance to breathe God's air and repent instead of seeing hellfire and brimstone. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. I told you it was going to be a long video. Just stay encouraged in the name of Jesus because Jesus Christ is coming. And as we have seen, especially recently, time is going faster and faster, is it not? Give the Lord's word. Unadulterated, unfiltered, only by the Lord's will. Because Jesus Christ indeed is coming. God bless.